I think I crashed it, you know. I nudged the cartridge. I'm trying to catch it before the capture device stops. Smash the bros, come on! Here we go. Don't watch this. I would spend so much time just watching this control. Same with melee. Yeah, melee is as fucking good though. And and new one too. And new one too. <laughs> Not wrong, but actually good. And I still hear the song. No bar. Yeah, sometimes when I turn the system off, the capture device will stop. Because it'll be like, oh, there's no signal. So restarting it. Uh, fucks it all up and then I have to restart my computer. <laughs> it triggers the problem. That part always bugged me because the scale of Pikachu is so wrong. Yeah, because Pikachu's not that tiny. Oh. No. I was so hyped for this game before it came out. Like, I had a pre-order for months, and like, the Japanese version was already out, yeah. and I printed out this FAQ, and would just like, <laughs> and would just read it, and like, I, I learned like, what all these characters' moves did. I didn't know what they looked like, I could just picture them in my mind, and I'm like, oh, I can't wait for this game, and I was like, who the hell is Captain Falcon? Can <laughs> I share Done. Oh man, but I, I was so excited for this game and I got it. And look at Mario beating up Green Mario. That's just weird. Green Mario is superior. So bad, right? So it's a poor version of the uh, Last time I played it was over the summer. Yeah. Time or stock? Uh, house rules are seven stock. Seven stock. Alright, chat, who should I use? You choose for me. I will acquiesce to your suggestions. I, I already said I don't want to do Diddy Kong Racing because I can't beat the game. I can't finish it. I know I'm a quitter before I even start, but I've never been able to get past a certain point. I'm not good enough at the game, I'm sorry. So. That's kind of. I'm just gonna do that. That's kind of off the. House rules is seven stock because it's by the loop. It's lucky. It's uh, okay. lucky number seven. That makes sense. It's been the house rules since. Uh... Yeah, see, I usually do five stock. Yeah, random. Yeah, random. Seven stock has just been our thing since melee came out. Me and my friends. So. Pro tip: it controls like every Smash Brothers game. <laughs> yeah, but it just feels so weird, like. Also, there's no side views. Yeah, there's... No, side views introduced in. Uh, in Even though I knew that, I tried it anyways, because, like. Yeah. Oh, fucking thing. I totally would hit you with that box. Aww. Uh, L triggers for those, that's right. That's right, double swords, bitch! Ah! <laughs> oh. Double swords! Right. <laughs> 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 I 
I was trying to like back up, but I went the wrong direction. No, no, no. How's it feel? <laughs> Did I not grab the weapons? Like, can you not grab weapons? No, 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 yeah. no, This is some pro gameplay. <laughs> Fuck off here, little Galaga ass. It, it uh, does look like Galaga. God damn. Alright. Let's make this happen. <laughs> Inputs are so delayed from what I'm used to. I know, right? It's the old days. God, his punches are so slow. Nowadays they're like E Honda fists. Oh, I recovered. Good job. No. I didn't think ledge grabbing was a thing because of how I died that one time. And how I also did the same. <laughs> and how I also died that one time. <laughs> Yes. 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 Whoa! So can you not roll the item now? Oh, I'm. That's grab. But you can also apparently roll. Yeah, I can roll. No, because I I keep pressing R to roll, which you can do, but it's also. Um, that's the grab button, which is also throw your item. Yeah. So I keep dropping my shit. You can, well, you can use Z. Yeah. Z is for sure. Sure. But apparently you can also grab sometimes. I don't know what it decides now. Okay. Oh, you got tornadoed. That was get, pretty sick, get though, getting Midwest. bounced off the, ball, the wall and then hit into a tornado. That was pretty You're cool. You're like Indiana now. Wrecked by tornado. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get knocked out with this, and it's gonna be really embarrassing. Oh. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Charge smash without attack actually does the sound effect. Oh, yeah, it does. You just have to connect with it. Yeah. Fucking Charizard, you didn't mean nothing. You were like no 10%. help. <laughs> Fun fact even Man. though I never had a 64 growing up and like. This is, I bought this cartridge maybe five years ago. This is my most played Smash Brothers game. It's cause, um, I used to have the on any of it. Like it was the one game that worked perfectly on that laptop at one point. So I was like, fuck yeah, I'm just gonna play Smash Brothers over and over. <laughs> See if I can get as good as Brian. No. I'm gonna be honest, that was bullshit. Because my friends Brian and Alex, they are super good at this shit. Like, any of them. And I'm just like, no one is the first one out. No one is the first one out. I used to think I was hot shit at this game back in the day. Because yeah. I, I played with like a couple of games. And uh, now I played with other people. And, uh, I was not actually, and I was just shit. And the winner is items. <laughs> yeah, this is true. Alright, let's try. Let's go with. Pikachu! 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 Oh good. Zeeps. Zeeps. The sound is. Same Zeeps. The sound is. I don't care. It sounds better to Zeeps. 
It sounds more spacey. Planet Dreams. <laughs> That's like a 60s sci sci fi. It's not. Damn it, that would have been perfect. I like how I pick up items with now. I know. That's adorable, you stupid little mouse. <laughs> that was cool. We should, we should definitely do um sell it on city or whatever it is. Because it's the only Pokemon stage in the Smash Brothers game that's not just a fucking stadium. It's actually based on a location. Well, Pokefields. <laughs> yeah. God, we must look so bad, because, like, a lot of people like watching uh, the new Smash Bros. game on Twitch. But, like, but us playing this one and being so like they're not that good at it. There still definitely is a community about for this game, but the people that are still interested in it are like really good. So anyone that's just like surfing through Twitch right now, like, ooh, Smash 64, let's do it. What the fuck is this? Yeah. That's terrible. Why are items on? <laughs> Why are items on? You should only play Final Destination. Or, or wait, there is no. You should only play fucking. I don't know that's. Oh! <laughs> Did you know that Blastoise likes to blast water at toys? <laughs> <laughs> when this came out, a friend of mine, the only person I knew with an N64, he didn't understand how it worked. So we only did the we only did the two-player or the multiplayer mode like once. <laughs> Because he, he thought he didn't realize that's what it was, because you know, most of the games are not four player, just kill your friends. Yeah. <laughs> it was very new and different. I agree. I agree. I like the dynamic maps actually. My favorite ones are stages that change. Like, yeah, like, like the Rainbow Cruise and the uh, Melee. That's cool. That, that one goes a little much. The Wind Waker uh, ship and uh, Brawl. That's a cool. Um, I don't like the really big ones in, uh, in that are in Smash 4. Is that um, actually you? Yeah. Just see a purple blob in the chest. No, I think it's super sweet. Like, there's a Donkey Kong stage in Wii U, which yeah. is terrible. And then there's a uh, the yeah, Great, like Great Cave Offensive, which is also terrible. I've only played that and one twice. God, it's not. It's so annoying. Like, with 8 player Smash, it's not so bad. Just, you I've know, never done it. Get, get you room to move around. I don't know 8 people and 4 amiibos. Or 4 people and 4 amiibos. I know 3 people and no amiibos. Just turn on TV. You don't need amiibos. Oh, I thought, it, I thought 4 of them had to be amiibos. Take it all. Um, four. Four. Oh. Um, uh, yeah, it's not so bad in 8-player. Anything less than that is just all sorts of different. <laughs> no! 
something to grab. <laughs> no. Survive, Pikachu. He's a revive. He's a super potion. Use a fresh water, it revives more health than a potion. <laughs> No, 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 no! Ah, we are getting skeletons up the ass in this playthrough. You notice that? Like, it's, it's not- probably not happening on stream because I think of the analysis. But, um... We can see it here occasionally. It's, we just didn't see it through Banjo at all. Now we're seeing it all the time here. Oh, he's starting to sing it. <laughs> Just let that fall right back on top of your head. Yep. Yeah. Kind of not liking this stage right now. Whoa, fan fight, fan fight. Hey, he's a sword. It, that was it, cheating. It's like the supernatural fandom versus the Doctor Who fandom on Tumblr. It's a fan fight. Yeah. Get it? Trigger warning. <laughs> trigger warning. Trigger. Talking about Tumblr. <laughs> Talking about Doctor Who. <laughs> Talking about anything in the context of Tumblr triggers me. So trigger. Hey! Ooh, Thundershot. Yeah. He's not ready to be too bad. Yay! Yeah. <laughs> Pika Power. Yeah, Zero has two hungers. Hunger Games? To Hungry Grounds. Starring Catfish Never We like super try hard in this box. <laughs> box, no items, final destination. 360, no scope. I never played Kirby. I used to play a lot. I mean, I like Kirby's Adventure, it's my favorite Kirby game. I don't really play a lot of Kirby. See what I did there? I thought I was talking about a character, but I, I kind of was, and then I changed it. I feel like I'm talking about the, the game series. Everyone likes that one most, and I just don't. Uh, my, it's partly because it was like the first Kirby game I really played, and uh, it's just got so many games built into it. Yeah, a lot of people like the minigame aspect of the complete uh, remake of Dreamland, but. I just, I don't really, it doesn't draw me in, I'm sorry, I've tried, I've tried two player cave offensive and stuff with everyone who's like, loves the game and I don't, sorry. It's okay to be wrong. I like Kirby's Adventure and Return to Jane Love, that's my two favorite ones. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I was like, you're just gonna keep doing that? <laughs> I didn't realize what was happening. <laughs> I didn't realize what that did. Oh. Onyx. Is Onyx killing itself? I guess so. I never thought about that. It's like tearing apart its own body for my movement. I got a smash attack. And a maximum tomato. Hey. 
And I tried to board B. I try to be gentle on that joystick too. I uh, have two good N64 joysticks. Yeah, I am not so good. This uh, one that I'm using is uh, I bought it brand new, direct from Nintendo, oh. right before they stopped selling on the website. It's like the last, one of the last ones that they made, so I was very happy with it. So I try, I try to keep it best as possible, like not using it for Smash, but I don't have any other controllers <laughs> besides these two, so... If I ever play Smash, I have to be very careful in general. And luckily I don't own Mario Party 1, so it's all good. My first controller for the 64, uh, the stick was all fucked up when I came with it. About it used, and uh, at GameStop, and the, work, and the way they packaged it, the stick was like all, all the side, and like that just made it worse, you know. And uh, it was super loose, loose piece of shit. So I, I conned my grandma into buying me a, uh, a third party one that we found at Walmart because it was still kind of at the time where you know they might have some like that in stock in the various area. And, uh, we, that one, it was a Mad Cat's one, it's this orange one, I think I saw it somewhere. It, uh, the joystick was much more taut, and it worked better for it, right? And I thought, like, oh, okay, so this is how it is, and then I finally got a copy of Ocarina, and so I was playing through it, and Link walked so slow. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? And eventually got to the point where I realized it was the joystick. <laughs> it was, um... It was fun trying to collect the proper controller. Eventually got one, though, by buying it brand new to wrap. I'm kind of disappointed with Nintendo's online store now, because they used to have a lot of cool shit for, like, the old systems. And now they have nothing for old systems. Not they barely have anything for their current system. I know, it's, it's very just, like, they don't... Yeah, like the most, the best you can get is a refurbished Wii U, and that's it. Yeah. Like, they used to have some... replacement instruction manuals. They used to, they used to do replacement uh, surgists for the Game Boy Player. Oh, like, nice. just stand below. Hey, Jordy. Bruh. Yeah, bruh. This is some fucking. Uh... You know, this Major League Gaming. Yeah. This is uh, some Pro Evo stuff here. We're both so good at this game. Some like 20XX hardcore metagame. So good. Ow! Let me have the sword, damn it! Thank you! <laughs> It's a video game where you can hold, you can double tap down to fall through a platform. A solid object, you can just clip through. Well, and you, you could imply that they're going around the front of it. Yeah, but they're clearly not in this game. Also, I, I just noticed as we've been playing this, it's so much different from the other Smash Brothers games. The environment always collapses some way. Oh yeah, because like like a book. Yeah. Got it. Like, there was a star wipe on the first one where it, like, cut a star hole and it zoomed into it, and that was pretty cool. PK Thunder! She knew poof. Aw, there's bones. No, it is. Oh yeah, Yoshi Storm. The best Yoshi game ever. Shut up. We don't talk about that so game in this household. Great. We don't talk about that game in this household. Alright, I'll talk about it in the Yoshi's. 
Yeah, we can talk about that piece of shit. So good, I love it. Yes. PK, lightning bolt shoot out of my hands. When I, I, I did fire just start anymore. playing. It's not. It's bad. It's, terrible. it's, it's not great. pretty bad. It's not great. It's, not so it's bad. bad. It's a slight unto everything your sound has ever tried to achieve. That's good. But... It's an abomination to Yoshi's Island. I mean, it's no Sticker Star, let's put it that way. It's close. No. Sticker Star was nigh unplayable. At least New Yoshi's Island is, you know, it's just boring and dull and it has poor environments and shitty fucking music and they just, ugh. But it, I have a lot of hate towards that game. But it's not as bad as Sticker Star. Sticker Star is Sicker Star is still at least fun and has an interesting story, and even though you don't have to battle, you still can, and it works. In Yoshi's fucking island, the music is fucking terrible. The stages are super linear, much more so than Yoshi's island. Yeah, there's there's nothing stupid. to fucking do except just go eggs. down the path. Oh yeah, once in a great while you get one <laughs> giant egg. Uh, it is Yoshi's New Island for 3DS. That's the game. It's such a good game. It's the best. It's definitely worth forty dollars. <laughs> it's barely worth free. The worst part about it is they, they clearly look to Yoshi's Island as like very clear inspiration, but some of the mechanics didn't carry over because they didn't focus on it right. Like one particular mechanic that annoys the shit out of me in that is that the original game runs at 60 frames per second. The 3DS one runs at 30. And what that would that would be just fine, you know, they did build the game from the ground up, but they made the uh, the actions for how Yoshi moves exactly the same, so it doesn't translate over to 30 properly. You can't do like certain things on like frame perfect things that a Yoshi's a veteran like myself would be like, okay, yeah, I'll just tap A and then just do this to throw the egg right there at the specific moment. No, you have to fucking wait on it. And it doesn't go when you want it to. And on, and on the egg throwing thing, there's a huge delay in when you press the button and when the egg throws, whereas in your sound, it's only about a second of that. Yeah, the, the egg That is annoying are. as shit. But just uninspired level design, shitty music, Little gameplay mechanics like that that fuck me over. Like there's the Yoshi's on vet problem, but then there's the egg throwing problem. And it's just like, no, I just, I can't. I wanted to, I wanted to, I believed in it. I believed in it so well because I fucking love Yoshi's Island and I hate what Yoshi's fucking story did to the franchise by making it stupid. And now they're basing every Yoshi game off of story and like trying to get back the fans from Ireland, and it's not gonna fucking work because they keep dumbing it down, and... Hey, you wanna be mad at I'll get to that one in my rant here. <laughs> but, like, they looked to the original, they, the art style's similar, the, uh, everything about it is, like, they clearly forsook Yoshi's story to focus on Yoshi's Island as the inspiration, but they still screwed it up. So terribly. And now Yoshi's Woolly World. The game's fucking adorable. There's basically no way to lose, but you can still die. <laughs> and uh, it, I, I've heard that it's actually kind of difficult, more on, on par with your sound over Yoshi's New Island, um, which is great. I'm really looking forward to that. I mean, it's a beautiful looking game. I really want the yarn amiibos. And like, I don't want amiibos ever, but I want the yarn amiibos. <laughs> um, I just, I, I'm not, I'm, I'm optimistic, sort of, but it's very cautiously optimistic. Very cautiously. Stop it, dude, with that. Stop it. No, won't stop, can't stop. I don't even control yeah, that shit. I know, I tried, but it was too far away. It was too much far. I never pull this mess. I don't understand this. Finally, I got a kill. <laughs> First one. He's gonna try to, to sweep it. 
your uh, your Yoshi's Island topic really distracting me. Yeah. Good job. Uh, that, that's that's the meta game right there. Gotta yeah. get into your opponent's. You gotta head. shit talk and get into your opponent's head. <laughs> I like fire. fire, right? I like the PK fire, but not the fire fire. We need to from the point. Alright, you can walk in here, that's cool too. I tried to <laughs> smash attack, and I didn't smash attack because it couldn't smash attack. I'm not good at this. <laughs> Ah. Alright, I got my own back. Let's do this. <laughs> she just stood there. I was trying to do the attack. Hey, after this game came out, they introduced genders into Pokemon, so it could be a male chicken puff for all you know, where a perfectly fine bow. Just like Sylveon. Sylveon has bows and ribbons, and he is a strong, independent. Uh, uh, male EV evolution that is that. confident. Oh, male garden. What? Male garden. Oh, is that the one that's not the dress of pants? Free for all! Free for all! Seriously, w w watch this thing. He like does a drunken yeah. rant punch thing. And he's even got like red eyes. Yeah, he's just a little toasty, that's all. Oh, oh, yeah. story so much. Let's do the, the Pokemon. Saffron City, that's what it's called. So it's cool. Three, two, one, go! Oops, I am not Luigi. <laughs> the best part about this is that this is based on the original Game Boy games, like, and it's based on a town. It's a town, it's not like a, just a stadium from the end of the game, you know? A bland stadium, it's, it's an actual place. Better. I like this better. Hey, Bulbasaur. Yes. Whatever. I'm Luigi. <laughs> Mama Luigi. That's Mama Luigi to you, Mario. <laughs> Imagine a kid playing this today and just like, why did that one blow up? What the fuck? Whereas all of us would just be like, run away! We know what's gonna happen because we played Pokemon when we were 10. <laughs> we know what's up. <laughs> this Pokemon come out a lot more often than I remember. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I think Charmander's one of them, right? Uh, like actually Char yeah, because Charizard comes out of the Pokemon. Yeah. Shit! <laughs> oh, that was a poopy -poo -poo. I survived that! <laughs> oh, okay, no, for luck. Ah, I am bad at this game. It's alright. I'm just gonna too much. That's why, oh, that's why I, I, things like that happen to me. So it's major league gaming pro strats. I keep trying to like air dodge. Sure. Ah. I block. I did the thingy. You can't, you can't block the bomb. Days of panic. No! No! Ah! Run away! <laughs> I got a good 
good hit. I actually killed you. Oh wow, I feel so much better. Chancy. She gives me a second chancy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, I would have laughed so hard <laughs> if that killed you. So so it was unexpected. I wasn't expecting it to actually kill you. Nope! You always get them. But Luigi was in ah, the one that's a good Porygon just comes out and bumps India. Porygon uses tackle. That's it. <laughs> well, because you they like, could have had it give you a seizure, but yes, that was yes, deep. Poor Porygon. It's like forever banned from the enemy. And his entire evolution mind. Even in the games, it just doesn't really make sense as a character, as a... There are, I know, I should just draw, stop trying to think too hard about it, because a lot of Pokemon don't make any fucking sense. Like, when, you, when it starts off, most of them that you run into are like birds and mammals and shit, and you're like, okay, cool, yeah, I get it, they're just living creatures that we call animals, but they're Pokemon. And, uh... Then the game goes on, and you find Magnemite, and Muck, and... fucking... Porygon. <laughs> Anytime anyone ever wants to talk shit about uh, like the new Pokemon, like oh they're so stupid, like we some cheese. People like, always bring it. up Magnemite. That's, was, that's the go-to. Well, not even Magnemite. Fucking execute. Hey, some eggs or far-fetched a duck with a leak. Yeah. Like that's literally all he is. He's well, a duck. Well, the thing is, is that both of those have origins in Asian like catchphrases, but and it's stuff. still. They're not just random items. It's still a duck. Like, it's an actual saying that you're lucky if you- it's far-fetched, but you're lucky if you find a duck that has a leaf with it because you're gonna get her on one. Yeah, it's a thing. It's actually a thing. I, I know. I know it's a thing. I'm not saying it's not Whereas a thing. Whereas a bunch of fucking keys on a key ring in Gen 6 is not a thing. Oh, double jam. That was cool. I'm glad we got that on film. Yeah, right? <laughs> it's fucking... Bro, uh, highlights. Let's go on my... I, I think I should be like that. <laughs> Just well, start a conversation and unpause it, and then bam, we both die. <laughs> the fan in melee is so much more broken. Yeah. I, I, it's either melee or brawl, but you can actually like trap someone with the fan and just raise their percentage like a motherfucker. It's great. I forgot which one it was. I'm pretty sure it's melee. I played a lot more melee than I did with all. Hey, Chansey. Hey, Chansey. That was like. What the fuck? That was well placed, <laughs> um. Well placed mine. Waste my mind. Put that there to steal. I know, and I used it, but it didn't hurt. Oh, oh. <laughs> made it. Goldie. Fucking Goldie! <laughs> the best Pokeball yet! I like how, like, it's still Goldie. In, even all the new games. Yeah, it's still, it's still just like there's the chance of a fucking useless one. Like, they didn't change to any of the other new Fitch Pokemon or anything, it's still Goldie. Yeah. Which is funny, because Goldene's actually useful in that in fucking actual game. Yeah, they should have used Magikarp. That's why I always thought it was weird. Like, how come it's not Magikarp? But... Well, actually, know. wait, no. Goldene, um, like, at the start, Goldene should only know Splash. But at least Goldene's But you can, you can find... <laughs> you can find Goldene that actually, um... Like that one, Goldene? Oh, that's cool. Uh, but you can find Goldene now. Like tackle, but they're not as common as ones that just know splash attack. Well, you'd be like, nope, I'm out later, so yeah, pretty much. Bye, cruel world! Mario! I started doing an impression of Luigi from Luigi's Mansion uh, to fuck with Jay. 
and like randomly I'll just hear him start trying to do it himself because it gets stuck in his head. Because <laughs> I'm just like, Mario! 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 <laughs> and just start I, doing that for like 10 minutes just was, to piss him off. <laughs> I was teaching a phonics lesson. Mario! I, I, I might have told you something. And the uh, phony we were focusing on was was water. Or in wow. Uh, wow, Luigi. <laughs> and like it took everything I had to not just say wow. wow. Yeah, imagine if you're walking down the street and Goldeen just like fell onto you. <laughs> From way up high. Yeah, right. <laughs> You're like, let's go to the, let's go to the silk store. Yeah, and, I'm just gonna uh, go pick up a new silk scope. What the fuck? <laughs> fish just out of nowhere. God, this screw attack has got such a shorter range in this game. And the fact that go to that, let's go. <laughs> Choke Mario out. Mario, your biggest fan. Your biggest fan. Hey, hey, hey. Your biggest fan. Just like Selena, biggest fan. Shot her. Didn't she die like Mario Caps? No, she got shot by her. President of the oh, that's what it was. I thought it was a plane wreck or some shit. Yeah, that's uh, Richie Valens. I love you so much, Selena! <laughs> now I can love each other anymore. Sorry. <laughs> it's probably, probably offensive to someone out there. I don't give a shit about Selena. Probably your neighbors do. But, uh... Uh, this isn't Jay, this is Ben. What up? Jay is in Mississippi. Jay will be back tomorrow. Jay spent a lot of money on the trip. Jay will not be able to pay rent on Monday. Or, yeah, well, I guess today, but yeah. We're not gonna be able to pay rent on time. Because Jay decided to go to Mississippi and not plan ahead enough to save the money for rent. Because rent is gonna be due. Oh, be shot at. Busting a cat. The cat move. You look at this, you know, medicine. Your stupid gun thing. Oh, yeah, I forgot. I forgot about that. It's like a little tiny bee drills. Yeah. Swarm. Oh, my insect minion. I wanted to see one, but. Uh, but it's like barely off screen. Uh, I'm just dead. Stop being better than me! <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, it's Carl. What there? <laughs> there was an egg on the cloud, and I jumped, I did my up B and jumped to land on the cloud, and I hit it, and it blew up. <laughs> that was great! <laughs> I love a good cheat death. <laughs> The cheaper and funnier they are, the better. Oh, so yeah, you like it. You have two guns! You don't need two guns! Hey, you, you started out these rounds with two swords, right? Yeah. Turn about is fair play. Not a little bit. Did you just, like, say a Japanese at me? Yeah, it was a really, uh... Did you just say a Wii at me? That was a really strange Phoenix right. Cause like all the cases are always like turn about. Yeah, so I thought you were crazy. different, Ben. Yeah. I thought you were different, and then you're quoting fucking Japanese in me. And like, I don't even understand. We're different. Don't. <laughs> oh, that was gonna be so awesome. <laughs> was gonna be right in your face. I kicked you right in the no, face. Oh shit, I fucked up. Senpai!
don't. <laughs> so. Oh god, where do we even start this one? About a year and a half ago, I was hanging out with this one guy named Jeff, and he liked to play cute to try to be like, like cause he was younger than me, so he, he would try to play cute and be like, senpai, and I'm like, uh, it got so cringeworthy so fast. It's not funny in real life, people. It works in your animes and it's good as a joke in what, your chat he, rooms, but when you say it, ironic or he, he was being ironic He was being ironic, but in it he was like, just, it doesn't work, it doesn't work. And then this fucking other guy, this kid Ed that I uh, had come out visit us when we were in Virginia. Um, like, immediately when he gets to the door, I'm like, okay, cool, I'm just playing Wind Waker, you can hang out, whatever. And then he, he makes a, a thing like that, he's just like, okay, senpai, or some shit, and I was just like, no, don't fucking do that, no, no. <laughs> So, so it's an immediate, like, just go the fuck away. <laughs> Why do you like that, Simba? <laughs> uh, like, that's triggering to me. <laughs> Trigger warning. Trigger warning. Don't do anime weird memes warning, in real life. life. <laughs> Don't work. Oh, that's not kawaii. <laughs> That's not kawaii, this. Desu, desu. Baka. Gaijin. Rice. Just rice. I can say that, I'm Asian, right? No, you're not. You're Mexican. I'm Filipino! Oh. <laughs> Which is kind of both. <laughs> senpai trigger. <laughs> yes, I got Trigger me, senpai. I got triggered by senpai. <laughs> <laughs> I got noticed in the wrong way. <laughs> senpai noticed too much. Too much. It was too triggering to be noticed by senpai. <laughs> well, you know this means we're gonna have to play the DK stage. Oh, okay. Really? I didn't realize you'd also pick the DK. Mirror match! <laughs> now, which one am I? I'm the... Uh, I believe I'm, I'm DK proper. I'm the rioting DK. Rioting Whoa, DK? Excuse me. <laughs> Excuse me! Black DK's matter, right? <laughs> wow, that was pretty good, Rachel. That was. Jesse Jackson would have your head on a platter right now comparing black people and, and the rioters, especially, to gorillas. No, okay, see, the, the ape one, the ape reference was an accident. They didn't intend to do I was only going for the, the surface one about the color. <laughs> <laughs> Which is not much the better. Surface. <laughs> right. The the uh, you know the, the surface. The racism. gorilla thing was completely unintentional and only retrospect. Wow, that was weird. <laughs> I punched the box and then the box punched the you and I guess got it. The reason I didn't buy Smash on 3DS was specifically because it's a controller breaker. I know from experience it's a controller breaker. So I don't want to break the, the fucking circle pad on my 3DS. <laughs> I'm not going to say Smash broke my 3DS, but it, did, it definitely, definitely did fucking contributes, it. doesn't it? Like, it, it was already kind of on its way out of um, Smash and Yeah. So it still works. It's just, like, I'll show it to you actually. It's Smash. Uh, it doesn't work. <laughs> Luke Skywalker in the fucking Star Wars game. So good. Oh, meow, you fucking. Oh, oh, payday. oh, I got paydayed. I paydayed like a motherfucker. No. This ironic. How? 
is. <laughs> Black power. Wow. <laughs> uh, like, isn't that ironic for Donkey Kong to be using the, the hammer? But, yeah. A little bit. Cause... It'd be more so if I was born. Yeah, it would be better. It'd be a lot better. You should play with Mario and I'll play as Donkey Kong and we'll do that again. Just hammers. <laughs> Just hammers. Hammer time. Did you know that a colony of um, some sort of ape, I forgot what to accept species, was found in nature using uh, spears as tools for grunting for them? Pretty recently in the, in the news, in the science and the news. Okay, check this shit out. They did the things that we probably did that one time. And so it's proof that it happens. Like flying off into the distance, way over jungle tapes. Flowers that spit fire for some fucking reason. Spit well, it's, this is DK's mixtape. That's not also a black <laughs> reference. <laughs> there was a uh, video today that has been floating around the internet, and uh, it's it's CNN at, uh, at the riots, right? And the so guy who plugs his mixtape. Yeah, he comes <laughs> up and he's like, "Yo, check this." <laughs> oh, that's great. I'm not done. DK gonna bitch slap you. Fucking charge smash bitch slap attack. Oh, pounce. <laughs> DK pounce. <laughs> <laughs> That was great. That's another highlight. Oh man, now I know why people like to play this on Twitch, because there's a lot of like, what the fuck moments. <laughs> That's great. No! Goldine, save me! Goldine, save me! Hey! What the fuck? Uh. <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> <laughs> it's like, hey, okay, see ya. <laughs> we're, we're, murder suicide pact. Let's do it. Yep. <laughs> Bonnie and Clyde is not, not Bonnie. I always fuck that up. Um, Dumb or Louise. Yeah. <laughs> I know what those sounds. Um, so put in a little green skirt. Um, oh, you're missing this stage, the Mario one. The one that goes right above Ren. Oh, I guess I am. I forgot how you unlock it. I have no idea, but there's definitely a stage or two we haven't played yet, so... Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The stage seems so simple, like, compared to... Compared to now, yeah. Oh, for a second there, I forgot I wasn't Link. <laughs> I always play as Link, by the way. That's my main first Smash on 64 is, is the fairy girl with her little green skirt. Yeah. No, this is the ball. Poke the ball! <laughs> ah, it's a little neat. So how do I do the thing that makes Santa's take her clothes off? Oh wait, that's a brawl. The thing that does that a brawl? Yes. Her final smash, um, oh. it, it takes the suit off and she turns into zero suit so Santa's so you can't, um, you have to talk to this as well. Okay. Yeah, I really don't like how Santa's direction is going. Because like, the sexuality used to be very downplayed, it was very, you know, yeah, sure, there's an end screen where she looks kind of off, but it's not overly sexualized. Not in the Super Metroid or uh, Fusion. 
And uh, nowadays it's just like, yeah, look at Samus in her zero suit. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's it's just like they really bring it into the foreground. When it used to be something that you know, it's just kind of like a, oh yeah, okay. Now it's like its main focus is to oversexualize her. It's just kind of sad. Yeah. Come on, roll. So I like the fire attack. What, what game does she get the fire attack on? Yeah, I know. Like, how come she can never do that? I would like, I fucking love a flamethrower attack in a future Metro game. Rather than just getting the same shit over and over again. Think the ice cream, get the whatever. Yeah. I want the fucking flamethrower. Give me the flamethrower. The short burst uh, explosions. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> no! That bumper saved you. That bumper saved my life! Oh, that was me flying away. <laughs> that was me flying away as I was dying. Flying to my doom. Yeah! I can't move. I don't want the thing. I want the other thing. Ever, ever time. <laughs> Can't touch this. <laughs> I touched that hammer and then I flew off. Fuck. Fuck. Bees. Yeah, they're little tiny bees. Huh. Seen that clip of Nich Nicholas Cage getting face covered in bees? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so Wicker Man. Like, I've never seen the movie, but everybody knows that famous scene. The bees! The bees! Uh, oh, Nicholas Cage. He's such a strange actor. He's been in some, like, really good stuff. Yeah, like, really the first National Treasure was fucking great. Yeah. Uh, it's basically, Lord of War was really good. It's a very patriotic Indiana Jones. Uh, uh, Lord of War was really good. There was another, like, really weirdly, like, meta movie. I don't know what it's called, but basically he was like playing an author or something like that, like writing the story that the movie was. Something like that. He was also in Ghost Rider. He was also in Ghost Rider. That was an Oscar winner. <laughs> oh, I'm terrible at Samus. Like, I mean, I'm bad at other characters, but this is the only one where I, where I actually feel like, oh yeah, I need to learn this character. Like, DK, I was getting the hang of that shit. Like, like the fucking Smash attacks are very simple, it's cool. But with her, it's just like, yeah, I need to practice. <laughs> well, I'm gonna pop you off the thing. Oh, it was out of flames. <laughs> it was I'm out of like, flames. <laughs> blowing it at you. How dare it be out of flames? I need to rewind my mixing. It's one of the hot pot. It's really annoying in Smash 4 is the, uh, the mines don't stick around very long. Mm -hmm. No one steps on them for 10 seconds, they just explode. I don't like how long sticky bombs take to go off. Because, like, I do some, like, clever fucking thing to get it on the other person, and then, like, two seconds later, it's back on back me, and then it blows up, like, right then. <laughs> Seems to always work that way. It's like, no! <laughs> <laughs> you ever seen that video by Yukina Joe? Uh, shit. It's really funny. It's a video on YouTube. Okay. It's a comedy about Zelda. Alright. It's called Bruce Ward Gord. It's about Skyward Sword. If you never played Skyward Sword. Um, well, okay, so there's a character named Bruce, and he, over the story, he becomes a lovable character, but at the start, he's a fucking school bully, and he's picking on you because you're the fucking weed, 
and Zelda comes to your rescue and is like, stop picking on him, he's shy, and like, that's just Link and stuff. And so he's he's got a, Bruce has a crush on Zelda, of course, because it's high school, the game. <laughs> and, uh, and so he's just like, oh, you have your girlfriend stand up for you, huh? Fucking wuss, and that. So this is a play on that scene at the start of Skyward Story. <laughs> That's all you needed to know. Look out, boy! It's Groot and his gang of bullies! Well, well, well! If it isn't Link, or should I say, Sting! I'm scared! Give me your lunch money, Pipsqueak! Leave him alone, you bullies! Ooh! <laughs> you need your girlfriend to fight your battles for you, Stink? <laughs> I'm not his girlfriend. We're just good friends, okay? Hmm, I see. Well, in that case, how about you and I go catch a movie later on? I never go out with you, you big jerk. You chop me! You chop me! You chop me! It's very fun. You should laugh at it. Oh, this one's pretty good too. Takes takes.
Bobby's new hobby. This guy I know online. Hi. And um, he's a bro. Uh huh. And he was talking about pony something. Mm -hmm. And somebody commented on his status on Facebook. He's like, What's a brody? His dad comes in and he goes, A brody is my failure as a father. Oh, wow. <laughs> <I was> like, <laughs> nice. Very nice. Yeah, and like those two though, like they're always like fighting publicly on Facebook. It's like, so cringeworthy. But like, is it genuine juicy? or is it just not? No, like it's genuine. Like, they're having like. Uh, hey, I actually got a Falcon punch to you hit. You did. Very nice. <laughs> um, and then I blew up. <laughs> but uh, yeah, they're like always. Not actually, I haven't seen it lately, but for a while, I've seen it. And... Yeah, Mario. <laughs> Give me a hug. Call it the bows. Mario? He's just talking about the bows. <laughs> <laughs> Taste of your own medicine. The invincible hammer. The hammer has been around for a long time. I was gonna say, because... yeah, it finally faded away. I was gonna say, if we have like two frames, we can pick it up. I wonder if uh, we can just keep it going forever. Yeah. You know what I never understood? Why is Captain Falcon portrayed as being so fucking fit and like all about punching and kicking? And he looks like such a like like athlete doing it when he just drives a car in this game. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I guess his backstory is about. Yeah. Still, still, yeah. They, they totally just invented his character for this game. Yeah. Well, okay. That's so great. Zelda reminded me of Helga from Hey Arnold. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I can see that. Yeah, a little bit. Okay. <laughs> you jump! <laughs> I love that video. Bruce is just like, where did I go wrong? <laughs> like, Skyward Sword is good for playing through one time. Like, gameplay-wise, it's got its problems, but story-wise, it's actually pretty... pretty darn good. Bruce has great character development. By the end of it, like you, the game starts, you hate him, and the end, you love him. It's pretty I don't awesome. before Smash came out. Like people wanted him to Smash. Bros. Yeah, I honestly think Bruce should like replace Ganondorf or something because there's no reason for Ganondorf. Okay. No, just as oh, a fighter. Oh, okay. Right. I should make like as the villain of the series. <laughs> yes, let's just have Bruce as the new villain of the series from now on. I'm underestimating the. Uh... <laughs> he just bullies Link. <laughs> You get to the final dungeon and the final boss fight is just give me your lunch money. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, and I keep underestimating the range of this punches. That's what I like about him. <laughs> yeah, so what? <laughs> you know what I'd really love, actually? 
is if Smash Brothers had a thing like Metal Slug where if you eat too much food, you get all fat, and then you start being slow and stuff, so it's counterproductive. That would be really? hilarious and awesome. That was like a gameplay mechanic, because then you'd have to be careful of like picking out too much of this of the stuff. Cause that's what it's all about in, in Metal Slug. And of course, uh, I love how the guns turn into forks. <laughs> That's the attack now. I didn't hear the Metal Slug game. Um, the last one was Metal Slug X on the DS. Or, uh, I think it was called Double X, actually. It's on, uh, DS and PSP. The PSP version is way better than the DS version, but they're the same game. I'm not surprised. I mean, PSP can just have better than Plus, the Metal Slug Anthology is on PSP. Oh, really? Yeah. It's on PSP, Wii, and PS2. It's actually pretty awesome. I've had it on Wii and uh, PSP. I've spent a lot of time with Metal Slug and on the go. I use a lot of quarters. There was always a, a Mexican restaurant right there up the street. Um, they used to have a Neo Geo machine. So I'd go with my parents and you know, get a burrito or something. And while waiting, I'd always play Metal Slug. I was bad at it. <laughs> It's one of those games that, like, even if you are bad at it, it really is just a matter of quarters. Yeah. Good enough quarters. You got this shit. <laughs> Why does Ness come in with, like, being blown up? Uh, I want to say it's a reference to something in Earth. But... I mean, must be. Must be. Like, does that happen when they use the teleporter? No idea. I have Earthbound. Got it for free from Club Nintendo, yeah. but I don't think I've played it for more than 10 minutes. Have you ever played it? No. It's a good game. It's very fun. I, I've really only ever gotten like to the town after the fucking intro sequence and just it's it's a lot. I don't like the battle system to begin with. Yeah, the battle system is very bare bones. Like, yeah, very I basic it. RPG. I don't like our- well, I'm, I'm fine with like bare bones basic RPG mechanic, but like visually like that? I can't fucking handle. <laughs> like, and then the text goes by too fast for you to like judge what's actually happening if you're not used to it. It's I don't have a particular fondness for that game. The really interesting thing about that game, or with the battle, uh, the only really like interesting thing about its battle system is that the uh, damage counters. They're not instantaneous, they're rolling. Right, so, so you can stop them like part of the air. Yeah, like if, if you heal, die. yeah, like if you heal or win the battle before it, it rolls all the way to zero. Yeah. That's I mean that's pretty useful, I bet you can just keep strategize your own now. Yeah, absolutely. Come on, stop hitting me with your stupid PK whatever. Why does PK fire with Thunderbolt? It makes no sense. Uh. <laughs> I like how you like pop up just above me. I was I was actually just trying to get back to the other side of the great fox, but <laughs> Ness can't quite jump over there. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> Come on, almost, <laughs> almost, almost there. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Yeah, you could have. <laughs> I just got back up too. <laughs> Try it again, sucker. <laughs> Come on. Come on, you can do it. There you go, that wasn't so hard, was it? <laughs> it's not gonna fucking help. Cause Yoshi and Yoshi uses the tongue for that, I guess. EK Thunder indeed. I wish I could like pick up the egg and keep it, but <laughs> that'd be pretty funny. Just you right off the edge. No! EK. What? No styles that that was. <laughs> So do I not have enough in me? No. I just have one. He's got a really high double jump, but uh, no, no problem. No! Okay, 
Ah. How did I do that? I think that was your throw. Oh man, I could never like actually do throws reliably. It's like I got, button. I have the grab, but like sometimes I'll grab someone and I'll, I'll button mash and nothing will happen. Uh, and then the person gets away and I'm just like, oh, I didn't get to get them. PK a mother. That's right, I did that once. Oh. <laughs> oh, run into head first. That's the pro side. Pro's chat's right there. Just run right head into it. Head first into it. Ah. Hoisted by my own guitar. <laughs> Quite literally. Isn't a batar a type of bread? No, batar is actually. It's, I, I actually didn't know this until uh, like last week. A batar is basically like a, like an explosive. Huh. They, it's like used to fire a cannon, so basically means it blew up in your face. And so literally, that mine blew up in my face, and I planned to. We're learning things in this stream. Mm -hmm. We're learning through fighting. Never say this is not an educational story. <laughs> so can I claim this as like a... Thing? Probably, because like I do. I do teach a lot of shit on the stream. And I talk game trivia all the fucking time. I guess I'm subbing for... I taught you guys about Stop story. and Swamp. I taught you guys about fucking uh, the debug code in Star Wars. Uh, like, yeah. I'm all sorts of knowledge. No! Lost Show how to get knocked dead. out with a full run bag. Yeah, exactly. You gotta charge it up. <laughs> and then you can just do that. You can even hit on the back. That's right. I'm pretty sure that would have been a foul ball. And if there's a ball in the water, no one would have got it. Just it. That was so weird. Did you see clips of that? What? They uh, they closed the Orioles game yesterday to the public. Or was it yesterday or the other day? Because of the lights and stuff. Huh. But uh, so they had the game, but it was closed. It was an empty stadium. So it was just two, two teams. Just playing. shown on TV, right? Yeah, it was really surreal. Huh. I have, uh, it's part not like of me baseball thinks, has any fans anyway. Part <laughs> of me thinks the MLB did that because they could have just, you know, postponed the game or right. moved it. I, I kind of think they did it for the Wolves. <laughs> Which I can respect. Game set. I've been seeing a lot of like first-hand witnesses of uh, like their accounts of how certain violent things happen, mm -hmm. and part of it is because like the hood, there aren't any cops there. There's no violence going on. None of that shit. It's happening like downtown in the wide areas because all the fucking cops are starting shit there with them to trigger it at the same time as a lot of them are having people go out into town and again several different eyewitness accounts and personal accounts have been going around on Facebook and whatnot that uh um that like people in these downtown white areas will just be like, ah, fucking Negroes, and like start shit, and will just be like, because they, they think they have free game because of the riot to start beating up on black people. And yeah, they're like, really? Like, really? <laughs> and people are yeah. fucking stupid. Yeah. Like, all people everywhere, of all colors, the creeds. Yep. They're stupid. And stupid Jay fun. swears up and down. The California is the stupidest, but. I mean, there's people are stupid everywhere. There's stupid people in California, there's stupid people in Alright, I got a whole deal with advantage. Yeah. Yeah. He's so floaty. I'm quick like a fox. <laughs> you can jump over some lazy dogs. Yeah. Whoa! Come on, Lily. You don't, you don't do that. That's Mario's turn. Mario's the one who gets to throw Bowser off the bed. Yeah, that's why Luigi has settled for a box. <laughs> Ball. 
balls. Green balls of fire. Great balls of jail bait. But he didn't go to jail. Like, it was just a thing. It was normal. Like, I don't know. Like, it was wasn't. It consensual from her part? I guess it was. Or like, I guess, it, like, maybe your parents. Yeah, like her parents, off. like, signed off. But, uh, it, it's still, like, a Don't weird thing. It, like, yeah. he was definitely. Like, the public be definitely didn't approve of it, and his popularity nose dived after that. Mm -hmm. But it's not like he got arrested. And yeah, she was, like, 12 or 13, or. Like, well below, you know, legal age. I guess the age of consent, maybe? No, the age of consent's like 16, 15, 15, 16. But I guess because of the yeah, parents' information. Yeah, if the parents set it up, then I can totally understand, like, in the 50s or 60s, before laws like that were really in place, um, getting away with it. It's still weird. Because you're, when you're underage, the law still sees, kind of sees you as your parents' property, and if they give you away, it's fucked up, but yeah. I mean, I think she was, like, consensual to it, too. Oh, wow. Uh, I don't know. Someone look that up. Yeah. <laughs> but nowadays, um... Yeah, that'll end you in prison. Yeah, you can't get away with it, even if, like, every party, every person involved agrees to do it, like, you can't get away with it. At all. Okay. Damn. That was a good move. I, I want to watch on the stream now because that was fucking awesome. That was already passed. Okay. I'll just just watch. have to watch the highlight. I'll watch the highlight later. I know it was right there. I'm watch the highlight later. Now I want to watch me saying I'm gonna watch the highlight. It's gonna be awesome. I wish Twitch, though, had a um, 2x playback on past broadcasts, because I've recently become, like, addicted to that on YouTube. YouTube has a uh, 2x speed. Okay. And it's uh, very convenient for watching it on computer. Because it takes as long. Because, like, I've, I've listened to podcasts at 2x for, like, Ever. Oh. Ever since I listened to podcasts. I would never have thought to and, do that. Yeah, and it, 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 fire. it makes it so you can get through them way faster. Fox fire. And now, if I can't watch a video in double speed, it's mm -hmm. kind of a pain in the ass. Do you know why Fox does the fire thing? It's a Japanese folklore thing because fox fire is supposed to be its form of fox magic because foxes are supposed to be magic. Uh, I, I was thinking it was like a. It could be that, but that's why he says fire. Oh, shit. <laughs> I finally got to dodge. To him. Uh, so, uh, all these Conversation about Japanese folk folklore, yes. <laughs> now, where's Tom Nook and the giant testicles? Um, well, he's based on Tanuki, which again is a trick story. Um, well, just kind of like the fox. The giant testicles. Yes, he, yes they, they have those. And they use them to fly in mythology. Yeah. <laughs> but they can also use uh, a form of magic that's form using leaves into anything, basically. Into uh, stone creatures. Oh, nice! Into statues as well as into uh, items in Animal Crossing, which is why they turn into leaves when you put them in pockets or sold by Tom Hill. Oh, okay. Like, I knew the, Mario, the Super Mario 3. Same, thing. It, Same but, uh, sort of logic thing, I thought. I, I never connected that with That's cool. It's not a place you want to fuck around. So now you're in next town. Crazy shit goes to so sell some shells and make some bells and shut your fucking mouth. <laughs> I guess that's a thing. It's from a song, yes. There's guys. That yeah, like ninja sex party and stuff. And the sex thing is my spirit animal. Sorry. But it's pretty active. I mean, Tom Nook owns the town. He rules me. I'm in servitude to Tom Nook. Fire! But he can't beat his, uh, loneliness. 
That is the only good part, but the thing is, is that by being zero, you're in it for life. Because you'll never fucking pay. You're just going forever. You can break your legs over and over and over again. But if, if the bills never do, you can actually break your legs. Yes. Maybe you could. So it's been like two years and you haven't made the first $19,000 payment. <laughs> I'm just gonna, you know, I'm gonna, gonna break a finger, do something here, get the point across. So there's another Mario stage in this game, is that what you were saying? Yeah, it's a... Uh, it's like Mushroom Kingdom. I'm sure it's Mushroom in this Kingdom one? Oh, sure. Uh, yeah, it's got the, um... The seesaw things. I forget how you unlock it. What are you in for life? Oh, for... Uh, oh, death, it's Tom Nook. That's what it was. That was appropriate. I did that other thing on the firefly. <laughs> <laughs> Stop hitting yourself. <laughs> oh. Ooh, I got saved by the bumper. Does it save by the bumper? <laughs> Doesn't even get a kick ass cell phone. Yeah, I stop. <laughs> Freeze. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck this is all about. <laughs> Unfreeze. <laughs> I can mess that. I think Jesse's gonna go to this trip. <laughs> Of all those cat meat things. Uh, no, what the we do? No, no. So, Alright, so in the game of rock, paper, box fire. Box fire negates paper. I guess. That's way right here. Go get that box. Go pick it up. You know you want to. Contents might be a mystery. Just walk forward. <laughs> now it's gone! <laughs> Look what you did, Luigi! Ah. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Hoisted by my own petard yet again. Drunkard, this is a wasted. Yeah, like look at his eyes, he's just like that's his normal fucking face. It's just like Yeah. I'm oh, fucked up, bro. <laughs> how much, huh? I, I I can't drive. So how much more do you wanna do on this? It's like two o'clock. Oh shit. Mm. Let's do one more. Okay, one more. Three for all. I'm gonna be doing with I will be to make it a Pokemon battle. To go on the Pokemon stage. How did, how did you change the. Oh, the C buttons. Oh. Uh, Crips and Bloods. <laughs> That's another thing the media hasn't really reported on in uh, the riots is that uh, the Crips, Bloods, and the uh, Gurgen gang that I forgot the name of right now actually teamed up. And like call the truce to protest peacefully. Yeah, like, I saw that. Shit, when, when that happens, you know shit's going down for real. Okay, I've never played it before, so I assume it's Kirby with half a second. Uh, kind of. And do infinite puff punches. Great. 
So can Pokemon be Pokemon trainers? Or Pokemon trainers? Sure. Isn't that the premise of Mystery Dungeon? Uh, no, 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 that's you get turned into a Pokemon and uh, based on your personality, actually, it's kind of interesting. Is that one Yeah, I did that once and I, because I, I wanted to figure out how to become a Mudkip. <laughs> so I wanted to play as a Mudkip. Mudkips are awesome! Everyone loves Mudkip. It's the best Mudfish of Pokemon. That's right. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> you got me on the way down, though. Aw. Uh, yeah, she also doesn't have to recover. She's saving stuff. Oh, that must be your opening is to save. Yeah. I was like, why the fuck can't I do it with me? Uh, wake up, wake up, wake up! Also, notice how Pikachu is a lot smaller in this game than, than the others. Yeah. Just like in scale. Like, because, you know, this is back when Pikachu was still a mouse and not like a fucking giant dog Pokemon thing. Like they have in the I think back then, Smash Brothers. Yeah, it's, it was, the official art was still fat. Fat Pikachu, yeah. And Pikachu was a mouse. So, I think the Pokedex entry is like maybe a football at that. Giant mouse, but still a mouse. See, I, I don't put a lot of stock in the Pokédex uh, listings, though, because they're so contrary to what you would think they are, or even how they're portrayed in anime. Like, because well, yeah. Charizard in anime um, has got to be at least like six feet tall. Well, the anime tends to uh, change the scale a lot. Remember that? I remember seeing Pikachu in like five different sizes. <laughs> and Charizard, I can, I can distinctly remember Ash and Charizard like hugging that out and stuff, or Ash clinging to Charizard and Charizard's big. Yeah. But and still, sometimes like. Sometimes it's big. According to the Pokedex, though, Charizard's only like four and a half feet tall. Really? Yeah, it's tiny. Oh. But like. I refuse to accept that I'm taller than Charizard. <laughs> <laughs> like if me and Char if I was barely taller than Charizard, that would make sense. But I can't tower over Charizard. Charizard can't be the size of a like, fourth grade. Why not? Yes, Charizard's too badass to be a fourth grader. Fourth graders are awful. Talk to the kids on South Park. <laughs> they are awful human beings, yes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, that's right. Someone has a higher percentage. That's right. Bam. I like how this game is basically sumo wrestling and crap. Yeah. Just trying to push the other person out. Imagine if uh, sumo wrestlers could uh, summon thunder lightning. True that. Fuck you, Aw, that's inside. I always like to imagine that this is like an elevator, and every time Pokemon come out, they're like, this is not my floor! Yeah. That's why they attack you, because you're so annoyed. Oh, look, it's What's mute. The... No, it's not mute. No, it's, it was it's the, the fairy. It was but Fable. That's the... Um, I think so. But in this game, the fairy slash the fable, whichever it is, basically just mimics any the other the Pokemon you need to see the metric. And uh, that one that they're mimicking was. Uh, oh. Uh, so does it always mimic me? No, it, it'll mimic me. Like we got one earlier that did. Does Mew actually come out in this game? Yeah. But it, it doesn't do anything, it just uh, pops just out. Off and and you're like, oh my god, it's Mew! <laughs> just for the star power. Comes out from under the truck. Yes, of course. I want to know why the fuck that truck is there, though. Uh, it's just a leftover from an earlier build of the game. You're not supposed to be able to get that. Like, why did they draw it in the assets in the first place? Like, because what was the original one, tension going to be? At one point in the game, they're going to have a truck there. and I want to know what they wanted to do with that truck. It's just probably going to be Charizard a set design. Is five, seven. Okay. Yeah. Like, that's too short. 
still probably it was probably just set design that you know it's weird that they put it in that spot. Well, it was probably there to begin with, and when the game when they eventually decided to do the SSN to embed in the water, they realized, oh well, we don't have use for this uh, tile card map layout, and it's already there to take up the space. We need something to take up the space. You can't just leave it blank. So awesome double kill. <laughs> Electro won that match. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, the way I got Mew on my cartridge in there was through the uh, exploit that was discovered by the kids at Berkeley. The, like, pause one? No, well, you have to kind of start it by, um, you walk, you start the thing off by walking into the line of sight of an enemy dude yeah, at the same time as pausing you so it triggers the, the like oh shit you're supposed to fight flag but then you fly off and you fight someone else so the values are different that are left over from the different pokemon that are on screen so um, long story short you can summon any pokemon you want just by manipulating values that way but there's a kid on the route from um past that nugget punch well, there's one there, but the one I'm thinking of in particular is, uh... Is it one? Maybe it is that one. Uh, it's a kid with the slowpoke. You need a slowpoke. Mm -hmm. And, uh, kill the slowpoke, then you warp somewhere else, and, uh... You, you warp to Lavender Town, which triggers another value, which, when you walk left onto the path back into the area where you fought the dude, uh, where you flew away from him, um it'll re-trigger a fight, but because you're not fighting an NPC, it'll just be a random Pokemon with given the value that you have in the storage. So you do that specifically as they list out, and it ends up being you. Yeah. Yeah, like I remember with like the infamous missing bit glitch, yeah. and how you would always like fight a random, like a real Pokemon, yeah. but it was like random and like a stupid level. It's pulled and from your it's last... from your name. The, the last letter of your player name. Well, that that's like, what... Uh, or it's one of the letters. I don't know if it's the last, but... That's like, what can trigger missing them. Um, and most, most kids, they uh, made their name Ash, so that particular set caused it. But there is a glitch related to the missing note glitch that doesn't involve the name value. Um, the the uh, the west or the east side of Cinnabar there, that last that one square area, is uh, it's actually registered as a grass um, value for like what you're supposed to be walking on, but what you see is water and land. But it's actually a grass value, so tall grass means you need a full Pokemon that you can get into an encounter with, but there are no Pokemon in that area. In that particular particular region where they cut it off, that are that should spawn in grass. The rest are all in water, so uh, it pulls it from the last place you were, which was Safari Zone, uh, the town that has Safari Zone, and because uh, Cinnabar does not have any town data for Pokemon spawns. Yeah, I remember. I actually had found that's that. That's why it's Pegasus gone. That's why it's always uh, Tauros and Pegasus. I and found that glitch by uh, by accident. And like before, it was on the internet. Well, yeah, I'm sure it was somewhere, did. but uh, I was like, hey, I found no. it that way too. Right? And I was, I was having to be serving on there, and I fought like a Nidoran. Like, Why is there a Nidoran? There's gonna be a Nidoran. Mm -hmm. And then like I just fucked with this one. Like, Eventually, you went into big old fucking yeah. glitch. I was thing. like, well, okay, now if I go to the Safari Zone, then come straight here. <laughs> That's easy. honestly when I did that run to collect them all. That was the easiest way to get Tauros, was to manipulate that glitch, because it's so Far fucking hard, a it's a rare spawn. In, that, in the original game. Yeah. Like, Dratini wasn't so bad, because you didn't have to move, you could just reach. Yeah. And it so bad. But Tauros, it's like, might not even show up, and if it does, it'll run away. Good luck. And it's in the Safari Zone, so you can't battle like a normal fucking puzzle, you have to throw the rocks. Fuck red and blue. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Alrighty. Well, thank you for joining me. Absolutely. Adios. Stream. Oh. Oh, camera's right. Oh, that's right. <laughs> Bye, chat room. I'll wave at the chat room. Thank you all for watching. We're going to go because it's late, so. I'm going to watch the Avengers in the morning. Bye. Yeah. That's why no one's here. Everyone's watching the Avengers. Oh, yeah. Everyone wants the midnight premiere. Fuck y'all. Fuck y'all. <laughs>
Bye, everyone. We'll play a new N64 game eventually on the stream whenever I get around to it again. So, bye. Peace. Good night.